Today I have a Nintendo Game Boy Color that's reporting that it has no power. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to repair this and see if we can get it back to life. So just to kind of show you what's going on, let's go ahead and we're gonna put the Little Mermaid. I just actually fixed this recently. And you can see that we're not getting anything. So we're gonna go through this and actually try to go through the troubleshooting steps and see if we can actually repair this. If you've never worked on a Game Boy Color in the past, really all you need is a tri-wing screwdriver bit. And this is a size zero and we're gonna use this to just remove all these six screws and then we're just gonna simply lift this off and it'll expose the motherboard. So let's go ahead and do that now. So sometimes it's kind of hard to take out these screws. So I normally leave them in place until they're fully unscrewed and then I just lift it off and make sure not to pull too hard because if not, you can lose some of those screws. All right, now that's open, let's go ahead and take a look at the board and see if we find anything. And so here, I mean, this doesn't look too bad. I mean, this capacitor doesn't look blown. So these look fine. And the terminals here, they look pretty clean. I actually don't know if the terminals on this one are clean. Yeah, they don't look too bad. They look like they're in good condition. Everything looks fairly clean. There is a little bit of stuff here. It's one of the things that I like to check is to see if the power switch is actually working. Maybe this is just broken. And one of the easiest ways is to actually use a multimeter. And I can go ahead and show you how to do that. Once I have my multimeter, I'm going to set it to continuity. And so here you can see that this is continuity mode. And this really just means if there's any, um, you know, continuity between two contacts within the circuit. So here you can see we're, we're getting continuity. I'm gonna go ahead and test this in continuity mode and see if this power switch is actually working. So one of the ways to do this is by testing and putting your leads into number one here, and then the other one into C. Now this one's supposed to give you continuity. And in this case, since I'm not getting anything, this is can probably tell me that's either dirty or not working. And now we want to test the on position. You put it on C and three. And here I'm not getting anything either. And just to show you what it would look like on a working board, let me go ahead and get the other one. And so here, this one's in the off position. We're gonna do the same thing, one and C. And that's working. Now let's turn it to the on position and test C and three. You can see that that's working. I'm gonna go ahead and put some contact cleaner inside here in this little cutout. And then I'm just gonna kind of end up moving this back and forth to just kind of try to clean some of those contacts. Now, if this actually doesn't fix it, I'm probably gonna have to look for a spare part on this on one of the other Game Boy Colors and then have to replace that with um, with this current one. That way it can, it can see if, if that's actually the problem. But let's go ahead and just clean it and see if that works. If it doesn't, then we'll go on to the next step. Still nothing. Okay, we're gonna try to clean it one more time.
All right, so that one looks like it's working. Let's test the on position. That one looks like it's working now too. All right, let's go ahead and just put this back together real quick. Uh, I'm not gonna screw anything in, I'm just gonna test it in case there's other issues. Oh, and you can see actually it turned on. Let's try, whoops, I actually forgot to put the plastic back in. The volume work doesn't seem to be working. I need to go ahead and test all the functionality, but it looks like that star button was a little hard. Uh, I've never actually gone through this game, but I'm gonna go ahead and swap it out with the other one that I'd normally test, because it's pretty easy to test the functionality. So let me go ahead and pull that one up real quick. All right, so everything seems to be working so far. Now, the only thing is I can troubleshoot this speaker I believe it's blown out. Um, I don't have a spare unless I go through some of the other Game Boy Colors and maybe a spare will come up. But for the time being, I might have to hold off on um, this speaker until we find one that's probably faulty. So I will be releasing that video regarding the speaker fix in the future. If you like today's content, please be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe as I release weekly content. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all next time.